Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Evil Minecraft. And today we are going to be setting up our home. And it's really dangerous at night, so we're probably going to go to sleep like right now. But first, I want to move this button. It was suggested by you guys that it might be a little bit easier to get in and out of my house. You know, especially if I'm running from a zombie. Probably want the button in a place I can get in easily and not accidentally like close the door in my face. <laughs> Which would be really funny actually. So I'm going to move this button too. And what I think I want to do is fix the door because there's like dirt under it and it looks really weird. Alright, so let me dig this. And I'm going to get rid of this dirt. So, door in the air for a second here. Put this down. Give me the door and I'll put it back. Alright, there we go. And I can get in like super easy now. And what I want to do is make a pressure plate instead. Alright, so we should be able to get in and out extremely quickly. Hopefully a zombie will never spawn in my house. I don't know why that would happen. Um, <laughs> but we have a bunch of stuff to do, guys. Um, first, I want to make a diamond sword. We got five diamonds, and I'm going to save them up for the really good armor. But first, I think we need a sword. Plus, we can kill stuff, like, so much quicker. Also, we should probably get another chest here. Alright. So I've got a second chest. Put it right here. Here. And let's store some of this stuff. Like right now, I don't really need a wooden door, or a redstone, a peas, um, water bucket, obsidian. We're gonna make our enchantment table, but we still need a book for it, and we're gonna need leather. So once I find a cow, you know, I will slaughter him and we'll get that done. But for now, I'm gonna put this stuff away. Because if I die again, I'd rather not have my diamonds and emeralds on me, because that that's terrible. Alright, so um, let's see. What else do I need to get rid of here? Let me get rid of this button. And that should be pretty good. I freed it up decently. I actually got four raw chicken I want to cook right now. Got to get all my food going. I'm actually, like, really hungry at the moment. <laughs> Alright, let me grab my cooked pork chops. And you probably noticed I don't have my skin today. I've got the Steve skin. For some reason, you know, Minecraft, I guess, was down, so I couldn't connect. And sadly, I, I look weird. I feel weird without it. I mean, my hand, it's, it's white. Normally, I have, like, a glove on or something. <laughs> Looks so much different. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to rebuild this in a different spot. I have a better idea. And what we probably should do is get some more torches. Because right now we've got three. And we need to light up the area around here. Because if mobs are spawning next to my house, it's going to be really bad. Like, like really freaking bad. <laughs> so what I want to do is... I think I'm going to make a little path here. I don't know how to make this look nice. It's probably not going to look perfect. To be honest with you guys. For our like first like starting like safety... Here, let me get rid of all this. I'm going to put down the gravel so I can use it for something. Because usually I don't do much with my gravel. And I'm going to grab this dirt. Because I think what I want to do is actually not do my farm outside. I think it's too dangerous. I want to do it in the air. I think it's going to be better. And a lot safer. So let me take this gravel. I'm going to put it down right here. I have some pretty good ideas to make this safe. Um, right now it actually should be decently safe until the meteorites come. Which could really come at any time. I think we're far enough into the series where they can shoot down from the sky and they literally do they look really weird <laughs> but um yeah for now i think we should be safe until those come i'm gonna put some torches around the house and that should hopefully keep us pretty safe i think i have to do like the surrounding area too like i know it's gonna look weird just having random torches maybe it would look better like this let me try something <laughs> i think this is still gonna look weird but give me this cobblestone i'm gonna put up some like um just pieces of cobblestone. Does this look better? Like, they look like some kind of, like, light fixture. Sort of, sort of, not really. But, um, I think it looks better than just random torches. So, kind of have some, like, little, like, light things here. Looks a little more decorative, I think. But, yeah, I'm gonna put these up for now. Try to give the area, like, some safety. So, mobs don't spawn and are knocking at my door, like, constantly. When it's, like, dark out. Let me put one, like, right here. And what we need to do... Is get these trees growing so we'll have more wood. So I've got all this bone. Turn it into bone meal. Got plenty of it. Alright, and we'll grow these trees. Alright. Grow! Come on, grow. There we go. Nice big tree. So I'll chop these down so we have plenty of wood. The thing that kind of sucks is there's sheep all over the place, and then there's, you know, there's no um damn uh <laughs> There's no damn cows. It's such a nice view, isn't it? Very nice view of the area. Alright. And I'll eventually make the nether portal too, but I really want to set up like the safety of the house before I actually like put in a nether portal because I think it's a little more important to be alive at the moment. Alright, so I'm going to put up more of these like around the area. 
I think this is actually going to help a lot, safety-wise. And I have to put these down, because if I don't, it looks really... They look really weird just putting them on the ground. At least they do to me. They look kind of weird now, but they look even weirder just on the ground. All right, so I'll put one right there. I'm just going to, like, put them all around this top of the mountain. Because I don't think too much stuff will spawn if I do. All right, this should be good. The sheep will be happy. I'll be happy. We'll all be happy, because, you know, the sheep, they live here, too. They're like my, my own sheep. There's, there's so many of them for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. By the way, guys, there's been a lot of people asking if I can add face cam to this series, and I may do it, actually. Um, I'm waiting on my new computer, and since Epic Proportions is starting again, I really don't have the time to add face cam to multiple videos on my computer. It's just too slow to add the face cam. It actually takes a couple hours to do it, um, to actually put the face cam into the video. So when I get the new computer, I might be able to, if it's quick enough. I'm assuming it will be, so I'll probably be adding face cam to this series within, you know, the next week or something. So wait for that. Probably be good that I do, because this is that kind of series where I really get, like, creeped up on by some scary stuff. Alright, so I'm going to try to place a few more of these, and I should be good. I don't want to overdo it, like, too much, which I kind of am at the moment. I just want complete safety in this area. The sheep are, you know, they're very, you're very happy. See, he's looking at me, smiling. It, it's a good thing. Alright, let me put one here, and then we're going to get started on building our house, like, to a safer measure. What we need to do is build up into the air, and I think that's going to be the safest way to do it. All right. I can't wait till we see some storms, though. From what I heard, some people told me it actually can't destroy my house, the storms, but it can destroy, like, the terrain. So it'll be cool if my house is, like, still alive and, like, half the mountain is ripped off or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. But I'm going to head into here, into my house. Much easier to get in now. It closed on my face as I said that. I right, let me light this place up a bit. I need more birch. I'm going to wait on Birch for that. But okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up. And let me see, how much wood do I have? Alright, so I've got at least a stack here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like take, um, let me take 32 of it. Turn it all into sticks. So now we got a full stack and this should give me at least like 20 ladder, I think. 24, not too bad. That should be good. So I'm going to use, I'm going to build this up. So if any mobs possibly get into my house, I am going to make it very hard for them to, you know, actually get to me. Because I don't want to live down there. That's kind of like the greeting room or something. <laughs> Alright, so I'll build this up like this. And get it really high. And that's where I'm going to put my farm up here too. So that way any skeletons won't be able to shoot at me and no mobs should be able to get to me. I think that's going to be the best bet. Alright, I got to be careful I don't fall. Remember, there is no regeneration with these mods, so... I have to be extra careful here. All right, I, I'm so creeped out even, like, going up a ladder. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to fall off. All right, this should be... You know, let's get a couple more. Two more. And that should be good. Can I just place it right from here? Afraid to do this. There we go. So we've got... Um, we've got 32 left. And I am going to make it a little bit safer than it is right now. Every once in a while, I get a pinky cramp... When I'm holding shift like this, trying to build on the sides, and it like it lets go. I can't even help it. <laughs> so I hope that doesn't happen. Alright, that should definitely prevent me from falling off the side. <laughs> I think so, at least. But uh, the way I did it really makes no sense, because there's nowhere to go. And you have one spot open right here. Okay, so this is going to be like the way around here. Onto the new floor. And this is where we're going to be safe. And I want to have a farm attached... How much dirt do I have, actually? Let me, like, safe in this a little bit here. So we've got, we got a whole stack. That's awesome, actually. So what I can have here is I can have a farm. Hmm. How do I want to set this up is what I'm trying to figure out exactly. So what I can do is if I put the farm right here, this could be perfect. So what I want to do, let me see how I'm going to set this up exactly. I think I'm going to put the farm, like, right here. This could be a perfect spot for a safe, a really safe farm. I would assume. So what I need to do is get a little bit more wood. I'm going to place down the dirt. I'm actually going to have this go one higher. And then I can place the dirt like right here. It's going to be perfect. All right, let's go down. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. We're going to grab all these trees around here. All right, so everything is looking pretty good, I think. Let me grab these. I'm going to plant some more saplings too. Just get everything we've got set up so far. I know today's one of those days where we really can't explore. We need to set things up or we're going to die. Like, if we don't set things up, we will die. 
That's pretty much how it's gonna work. Did I put my saplings down in the um, in the chest? I may have done that. I'm not sure. But take a look. It's getting late anyway. We need to go back to sleep. All right. Let me see. Let's run in here. And did I? I guess I had no more saplings. Damn. I really didn't have any more saplings. Fine. I see how it is. We're going to sleep. It's night. Don't lie. It's it's late. It's an early night. You see? It's dark. Come on. I okay. There we go. Hit S. <laughs> All right, we are sleeping now, and the house is starting to come along pretty good. So, apparently, we are going to need more saplings. So, give me some saplings. Let me grow this, actually, while that hopefully um, turns into saplings for me. There we go. There's another one for us. And we'll grab all this wood. It should be enough for the next floor. I don't think we need too much, because I'm going to be putting dirt on top of it. And that's where I'm going to be planting it. Did any come down? Any saplings? No saplings. Come on. Give me some. There's one. Nice. Okay, so I could replant that. Let me just break all these. Okay, we got a couple. I kind of let the other ones fall before and they probably despawn, so. Let me at least get these. Too impatient to wait for it. So I've got two more. I could plant one right here. And we can plant one. Let's plant it like over right there. That should be fine. Okay, so we'll go upstairs. All the way to the top here. I'm going to make it a little safer as we go. But for now, it should be pretty good. Alright, so if I have all this dirt, what I can do is let me take this. And I'm going to put it up one higher like that. And let me get my ladder. If you see what I'm going for. I'm not sure if you could tell what I'm talking about. Because I can't even tell what I'm talking about. Okay, so this will get me up here. And what I want to do is get dirt down. So let me put this. So this is going to be like the actual floor right here. And then I'm going to put, like, dirt across, like, say, like this. Like that. And let me just go with this. I failed that miserably. But, yeah, I'm going to put dirt across like this. I'll have water set up, too. I actually have a bucket of water right now. I need to get some more. All right. Do I have anything I can plant yet? I don't think I do. I just want to get it set up. <laughs> so when we go down, we can come back. And then we can actually get this, like, perfectly set up. I might work on this a little bit off camera. Try to get things going. I think up here is going to be the best bet, though. Safety-wise. So I'll just put the water on the sides. And put the dirt like this. So, for example... Let me take this right here. That one wouldn't be there. Let me get rid of that. So I'd have, like, two layers. And then I would have the, the water in the middle. And the wood underneath it. So that way, you know, the water won't flow down. And that way, there's no way I'm going to have trouble getting my stuff for my farm. Because, you know, up here, I should be pretty safe. I would imagine at least. All right, that should be pretty good. All right, so I'm just going to finish up the dirt on this side. And when we get back and get some grass, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to head down and get more water. And also um, get the seeds so we can actually start this farm. All right, so let's head down here. Come on, bat. We have to, we have to go down this. Down, don't fall. <laughs> but the house is coming along, I think. I think it's pretty safe. I also need to get birch wood. There's like so many things I need to do. All right, let me see if there's any more saplings that happen to have um, fallen off. All right, there's one. Perfect. All right, come on. One more. I feel like these are the tedious things that sometimes I skip when I really, like, add a lot of mods. Because, you know, I'm like, I'm like, screw it. There's food. There's stuff. I don't need it. But I think I'm really going to need it in this series. All right, so I set that up. That should be pretty good. The house is starting to look really funky now. As you could really tell. So I think what we should do is head down, but first let me, um, so I have water. Oh, I forgot I made this. I forgot I did this. What I'm actually going to do, let me put this here for right now. I'm going to grab my bucket of water, because what we're going to need is multiple buckets. Actually, why would I put, I could, that would be a bad spot for it. Let me actually put it upstairs. So I'm going to take this. So all we need for infinite source, you know, is, you know, a couple buckets of water. And I already have one here. So I'm just going to pour it like, like right there. Like that, and we're going to go get some more water, we're going to get seeds and all kinds of stuff for our house. That'll be perfect. Alright, let's go down. Because right now, oh, we need leather too, so we need to kill a cow. There's a bunch of different things we need to get. So let's get out of here. We need to head down to the normal world. There really has to be a better way to, um, to get up and down this place though. There's got to be. Alright, we're heading down though. I need to get birch, and this isn't really the direction I want to go in, actually. Let's go the opposite way. 
Because I think there's more. I think there's cows in the other direction. I'm pretty sure I've seen them. I, I might be lying. I might be thinking of a different series. I don't even remember. All right, so there's water down there. That should be, you know, quick and easy. Because we're only going to need two buckets to get ourselves an infinite source here. Let me just try to get down safely. And then we need to find trees. We need to find a cow. A bunch of different things. Can I jump off here? Like a spot to jump off? That'd be dangerous. Should we do it? No. I think it's I think it's too far. That's got to be way too far to actually risk it. I really want to do it, though. I think I can, I think I can make it. I think I can. We're going to do it. There we go. Beast jump right there. I love how the water is like actually like moving. It's so awesome. All right, so we're kind of like in between mountains right now, but at least we're further down. We can get to the cows and all the other stuff that we need to get to like really quickly. You know what we should do, guys, before I start grabbing all this is I should actually make a hoe really quickly so that way I can get more seeds. So let me put this down, and we are going to uh, make one real quick here. All right, so I need to make a hoe. There we go. I rarely make these. I don't garden much in Minecraft. All right, please give us some seeds. There we go. We're getting seeds. Awesome. So I need to do this all before night happens, pretty much, and get back up to the house. All right, please give me some seeds. I believe the chance is a little bit higher, like twice as high or something, when you're using a hoe compared to um, if you just break it with your hands. So hopefully that'll be good for us here, not getting too many. But as long as we get some, we have plenty of bone meal anyway, so we can really start a farm pretty easily. Let me just chop this tree. And then we need to get a sapling from this, like, right away. Like, please drop some saplings. I'm actually going to destroy this one just so I can, like, speed up the process here. I need one sapling for our house. There we go. I got it. Awesome. So the only thing we really need... What do we need? We need a cow. I'm going to find a cow really badly. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it right here. And hopefully we'll be able to find that cow so we can actually start making the enchantment table. I think we got pretty much everything we need, though. I mean, I've got... um. The stuff for the other tree. I've got seeds for the garden and the house is getting set up. It's starting to look pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.